Now, look, let me show you how. Uh, I'm sure somebody didn't see the other video, so let me show you in here. Go to options, go to controls, go to gameplay, and where you see uh, explode and ignite vehicle and dismount all parts. If you hold this little, if you press this button here, this little plus sign, you can assign a new hotkey. So what I did is dismount all parts. I made shift S ignite. I made also shift S. But explode, I made shift A. That way I could, I could do the uh, explode differently than I could do the ignite. So if I just ignite it here and uh, hit shift S, it'll dismount all parts and it'll ignite it. If I hit shift A, it'll do an extra little explosion. Now you say little sparks are on the little fire on the tires and on the... Well, now to get that to work, you're going to have to do this. You're going to have to take this Just run into this one time so you can see what it, it's going to do, or what it does on my system. I'm going to close the game. So you can see what I'm about to do here. I'm going to delete that small grid. So do you see where the user folder is here? This is a default location for me anyway. I'm going to zip this here. I'm just going to zip it. And um, then go to the user folder but not in the levels go to the art folder see this there's a separate art folder that goes to all the levels basically you may not have an art folder in here just make one if you don't and if you don't have a shapes folder make that and if you don't have a particles folder make that now this here, they are basically the global particles for all the levels. So whatever set in here is going to be in every level. If you want to revert back to non-sparking, just delete this folder. But I'm going to zip this particles folder. Just pay attention to where I have the folder here. Because you'll have to put it there if you're going to see if you're going to see sparks when the fire happens. If that folder is not there, you're not going to see it. So now you see that particles. All right, now I'm going to move that to here. No, I'm not. I'm going to make a new folder. Uh. What am I going to call the folder? Uh, well, it doesn't matter what I call it. Just in that folder, you see what I'm doing? I'm putting this zip file for the particles. And for this level that I just compressed, which is not packed as a mod, it's intended so that it's a supplement to small grid. So when you load small grid, in free roam it'll load the changes that I made so you see now this zip is also going to here now both of these I'm going to put on one drive and you should be able to reverse engineer what I just said here to get it to work on your system should should be able to. I understand that sometimes there is language barriers and whatnot. 
also note something here. When I put a new graphics card in today, the ground model for that lightning effect, not the particle, but just the effect of it shearing that car back and forth, I had to adjust it. So I think it's possible, depends on spell good. Uh, it's possible that the way it behaves on everyone's system could depend on the type of GPU. Everyone's systems may vary. Um, anyway, you see, now I'm putting these right here and then I'll share this folder. Maybe I should even Take a screenshot to show you here how the two folders are where they're put. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And include that also in there. That probably would be pretty good actually. So let me print screen, load my photo editor. And uh, I'll paste the screenshot so you can see where these two folders go. I mean, I would think anybody could probably figure this out but I know um, it is difficult some for some languages to uh, understand what I'm saying just because of the language barrier it's sometimes different interpreting other people's words Just put this on the desktop. Uh, where what goes? No, where? Where? I think that's pretty self explanatory there. Now I'll put that image in here. And hopefully, you won't have any problems. Let me go back to here, and you'll see that I am just sharing this entire folder with these three items in it. And that should be all you have to do. So this is on my clipboard now. That's what I'll be sharing the link to, so you'll see how to or to extract the folders that are in here. And there's even an image to tell you where I put it. Now, I'll show you where to tweak that ground model. Once you extract that small grid, you'll see a ground models folder in there. Go into this ground models and look for melt. It's at the bottom. Now the values that I had to adjust and tweak to make it work better than it did yesterday on the other graphics card was this. I had to add a number. Now this, there's no rhyme or reason to this particular number. It's just a bunch of damn numbers. It's, it's just basically uh, around 10 million. And that's about what the fluid density set to also in the default depth 0.25. But however, when I first loaded it earlier, and what worked fine yesterday was somewhere like along the lines of this is like what I had it set to and it worked fine but today it just didn't have the quite the oomph that it had yesterday so it may be you have to adjust these just don't forget to save it now the good thing is the game can be running while you are editing this and it'll update in real time as you hit save in the game it'll update right away you don't have to rebuild collisions or anything like that. And that object I made, well, you can change that object and you can also change the sound. I just put a lightsaber sound in there because I thought it sounded cool. But you can remove it if you want to. So let me show you how you can adjust the size of that thing. And 
something else you may think is interesting. So let's load up the small grid. Now also, I didn't spend a lot of time on this level. I just made a couple of textures and uh, made a decal slap on the ground so that the ground could look like it's reflecting a little more. You can adjust all this. You can delete the decal if you don't want the decal there. It's just there to give it a little extra shine. So that's that's all that is. Now this is what I was going to say. Uh, well, two things. First thing is this object here. You can adjust the size of this. You can scale it and be a different thing. I mean, you don't have to be that shape I had it. Just rebuild collisions. And it should, when a car falls on it, for say, uh, example, it should uh, act, however, an object of that size. <laughs> It's basically the same thing the lava was, if you saw that video. I did mess with this thing, settings, trying to make it. I made it, I tried to make it purposely so that it is like a lightsaber. Just remember, two collisions only work anything like less than two millimeters. I mean, anything more. You may not get any reaction if you make it too small. You know what I'm saying. Now, the other little thing I thought was interesting is, well, if we go to the terrain painter and we pick this ice here, and we, uh, well, we gotta load our material library. Oh wow, that is not linked. But anyway, if you go to the ice here and you assign it also this melt ground model, save changes to file and you drive on this, it acts a little like kind of strange. It's like it's got its own physics that well, it's like I said, it reminded me of that 1970s electronic football game. Now, you know, I was just a very small young and then I was probably eight years old. Maybe somewhere around there. But they made a football game and it was electronic. Oh, it was state of the art though. It looked uh, like the real thing. <laughs> The little people moved and everything, so uh, just for fun, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but that that was like another idea for a mod that I had. I was like, you know what? You could make that little game if you took the time to make all the little people and stuck them on there. And I, I don't think it would have that big of a following for spending much time on it. But who never know? Seventies electronic football game here and this is it they actually made a newer version it's up to date it's more modern but that's all it basically did see that little handle over there well that I guess adjusted the amount of vibration and of course them little people don't have AI they just vibrate randomly it may be that there's some magnets at play too I don't know but anyway, that was the idea that I had. And of course, if we look at the retro version of this, the old 1970s version, you can see it looks quite different, in fact. 
vintage, vintage, yeah, see, same idea though, Looked like it just had an on and off switch, look at that, exclusive, heavy duty switch, exclusive meaning, nothing else uses such a heavy duty switch, interestingly, there's a little telephone wire coil, like the old phones had on the plug. I've never seen that on an electric plug. Ah, but anyway, oh, look at that. If you buy this, you don't get no players. <laughs> you just get the electronic vibrating machine, which, I don't know why you would want that, unless you want to make your own little players. But anyway, that's it for this video. I will, uh, Share this link and share this video. And uh, good God, look how much that damn thing costs. No way I'd buy that. But anyway, that's it for this one.